Hello everybody, this is George, the developer of this app and um, I want to present you my application. Um, the lottery is a game, a random game and it's pretty hard to have a way to know the numbers or it's impossible. Um, but I created some tools to help you get the numbers for the lottery. So um, on the top you can change the lottery, different lotteries. Uh, there are about 400 uh, from around the world. Um, I would, for example, I would just choose Mega Millions, right? And um, if you have uh, questions, you can go on info and see each icon, what it does. Um, you can um, it will generate numbers, you can refresh the numbers, get new numbers. If you like the numbers, you can highlight it with a star and will be added as favorite number, set of numbers. Um, um, you can say purchase, but you cannot buy if uh, in the app. It's just uh, saying you, when you generate the numbers, when you want to play. And I say how many times, I say 10 times, save. And then um, we'll um, get the notification if the number match um, for the next 10 games. Um, you can um, see if the numbers um, were uh, in the past, uh, how many times uh, were the numbers, if it matched, let's say, three or more numbers. So it happened twice in 2006 and 2017, um, or let's say two times, uh, plus uh, mega million, two or more. Um, so it's multiple times. But last time it happened on April 2nd this year. Um, if you have questions about the info, you can go on the help and I'll try to describe the information uh, on the screen. Uh, it's the same on all other um, uh, icons or pages. Um, or you can select a, a, a numbers, a set of numbers from generated numbers. It's a list and uh, you can pick whatever you want. You feel like it's um, um, nice to have. Um, it's like these the same you can star it or or you can manual pick uh you can have the random numbers or in order or you can have just one color or multiple colors um and you pick numbers uh, and then save it um and um you can also edit in case you want to have something else or you can see statistics of past numbers right uh, these are the results from the past and you can uh, see different dates um, in this graphic and uh, there are some statistics here right uh, to see the trends um, you can adjust the statistics you can select just some of the statistic you want you don't want just uh, for example average numbers or min numbers and you can pick uh, which one you want to have it when you generate numbers and usually should be in the range um, probably you notice uh, is this red dot, um, line here this is the average of generated numbers your uh, were um, the official generated numbers right is the average whereas in this range right if you select less it'll be down or it'll change um, same for the min number the min number usually is here on all the numbers for example 2000 is like from 2060 to 6 or something it's too many let's say and um, I always recommend to have about let's say 500 you save it and it's just the past 500 numbers um, are in this statistics and you can adjust the numbers um, in this range right past 500 which is probably about 10 years um, I think um, so you can um, get the information on each, the average of numbers, the, each card, and we'll have a description of uh, what it means, everything. Um, or you can go in the statistics and adjust in the nicer graphic, right? Where it's just the average, and you can see the trends um, on, on the range, uh, or you can pick um, as percentage of past uh, numbers right past results to take in consideration uh, but I prefer to adjust it myself in this range right 
uh, even there are some spikes outside most of them are inside here so um, I would choose um, let's say a stricter range um, the min number is the same I can adjust it and make it uh, in the smaller range um, there are also two other lines, which is past seven numbers, past seven uh, min numbers will be uh, with the green, and then, um, or no, the green is the 30, uh, and the red is seven. So past seven, you see um, the average is, um, the, or the line is um, more variation than the 30 um, um, numbers. So this is a pretty um, nice graphic. Also, you can um, check um, the statistics down in the table. You can sort uh, if you tap the header uh, and understand how the statistics work. Um, and the last time, um, the min number was here. So, but uh, probably the best would be uh, times row. Um, which number three is this is kind of a hot and cold numbers um, the min or the ball here is the hot and cold numbers uh, you see the 3 28 10 17 are uh, the red ones the hot ones and the cold are the green um, which uh, you see the date when this last happened this number right so October 15 was 62 and you see the dates um, you can sort also by date here and see uh, which is um, the last time a number uh, got drawn see this is on the 29th the last five on the 29th which is the last uh, game um, you can uh, base the statistics on the official or on your history for example if you generate numbers in the history you will find here um, the numbers generated in the history and uh, when was the last time so for a new game that is not in the um, statistics you can select the history uh, generated and it will create some statistics based on what uh, the generator creates um, if we go back on the home page um, on the bottom um, is some of the videos you can go on YouTube and uh, find the videos um, you can also, for example, if the game changes, um, it happened multiple times. For example, we don't want to fire from 70, or we can have it to a different number here, 70. Uh, if it's moving 79, or it was 60 something, or if you want to uh, draw multiple numbers, 7, right, from 59, and the bonus number changes also is from, let's say, 19 or 20. You save it, and the game's. Uh, is updated here and next time it generates it will generate more numbers like we selected the range it will be different um, so um, probably it's better to put it back to 70 uh, come on and 5 and 26 I think uh, save and we go back and we generate new numbers um, so if we go in the history of number generated we see this one and maybe we want to delete it uh, because this is not uh, the correct range and we'll say okay and it's not in the list in the history anymore um, also here you can see the past numbers generated for different games uh, we play uh, for example, the same here, uh, when you generate a uh, certain set of numbers, for example, this one we generated earlier and we say we played, we can make it a star also, um, and you can um, have it in the filter as a uh, favorite, right? Um, also, um, this is the statistics, we we'll use the same. You can change the game if you want to, to a different game, um, and you can update the settings or not when you adjust the statistics right um and when you go back to the generate numbers page it will be updated uh, there um this is the results for multiple games um i'm in north carolina so um, i have the games from nc uh, if i go on uh, one of the games here um for example here i see the same graphic here um and you can Go back in time and uh, see um, results. 
if you tap, you'll see different uh, uh, different statistics on that specific game. Um, if you go on each game, you have the statistics here. What are the min, average, and the max uh, for the numbers? Um, and these are statistics on um, the game in general, right? Uh, for example, min number here is 14, but the values in the range is 1 and 38, the max uh, for the min number, and the average is 7.72, um, right? Um, another feature that is uh, in the app is... Um, Tickets plate, right? Uh, we put this ticket plate um, in uh, below here will be the numbers. For example, um, this one I played 10 times, so it looks like just one time number 28. Um, it's pretty hard to get the numbers. Even if you are in the range of statistics, there are still so many combinations and it's very hard to uh, get the numbers uh, correct. Um, this is why I created the next feature, which is testing number to see how hard it is to generate numbers for example um, I'll uh, generate a new set of numbers for example for mega millions I'll generate 10,000 combinations which are unique each one is different right I save it and when it's saving um, it will go and look on the past numbers you can pick a different um, numbers from the past and you have the you can have a report here so from the 10,000 generated numbers the the max was three numbers uh, four times uh, if I go again before um, with the 10,000 numbers four numbers was three times so we had more luck here than the previous game and so on uh, you can see how hard it is um, I looked through the games and I didn't see um five numbers on the ten thousand so yes it's very pretty hard um ten thousand combination uh from the max of like 290 million is a drop in a ocean um that's this is why it's pretty hard to get the numbers even if, we, if uh, you use this app but it's fun to see the statistics uh see the trends what um, what is the evolution in time, uh, where it's going, uh, the min number, the odd and the even, um, they're interesting but not very helpful, let's say. Um, most of the uh, statistics, uh, the best statistics to use is the average, min and max. And also you can use the um, hot um, numbers, for example, 20, 28, 5, this is the so many times uh, the number of drone, uh, the same you can change here the statistics, for example, to have four. You see the max number is changing here, is 69, so it's adjusting. Um, when a new game is coming online, you know, you can add it manually, you can send me an email uh, to um, um, add it to the um, application. I had like 10 games every month um new games um so um i have a four, about 400 uh numbers um other features in the app are to show notification for new games available how i said if i add new 10 games every um month uh you can you want to receive the notification for new results uh, of the game you played um ask if you exit um few dialogues and uh, also uh, some people um, show the numbers everywhere in order some people wants to have random most of the time the numbers come in order from uh, where we get the results but sometimes people want to have the random order um, and also uh, this is another feature oh you use the max number of, for the magic wand or not uh, some people requested this feature uh, to um, don't change the number on the generated numbers here so if that is unchecked this number here will not check with the statistics when generate numbers um, 
I forgot to ask, show you here that uh, you can Jiren was using the magic wand. Uh, the magic wand will do some calculations, some adjustments, um, and it will generate the numbers in the best range uh, the algorithm thinks about. Um, you can also have your favorite or excluded numbers. Um, being a favorite number doesn't mean necessarily you'll be in the um, generated numbers all the time um, because, you know, uh, if you have six numbers or five numbers and you generate numbers, that mean every time will be five numbers? Probably not, right? The same for five numbers, you want to have some different. Um, the way the algorithm works is um, the five word numbers uh, will be uh, probability a um, hundred times more than a normal number um, or ten times more. And um, an excluded number is... 10 times less probable to um, be in the set of numbers generated. And also, um, it's a complex algorithm and using the statistics also in the same time. So um, if you have one, two, three, four, or five, um, and you choose the statistics in a different range, probably will have one of the numbers there, but not all of them to have also the statistics um, uh, in the range. Um, so, uh, they are helpful to have your favorite numbers, um, but not necessarily be all the time those numbers, or if you exclude it, I mean, never will have that number. Um, it can be there, right? Uh, the average and, uh, the min max number, um, um, also there are a lot of features to buy in the app. Um, I would appreciate everybody that, um had uh, purchased uh, anything in my app. Um, um, also the help, uh, there are some tutorials, statistics, explanations. If you go on each one, it will give you more exp explanation. Um, and um, I think are all the features I have. If you have questions, uh, let in the chat below, subscribe for new videos and let me know um, if you want to add new features to the app. Um, I appreciate the help. Uh, good luck, everybody. Um...